What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So it is the morning of the autocross and I need to do a couple things to get my car prepped. If I gotta rotate my tires, so let's go move the Scout, I'm gonna go grab my car and then we'll get this going. take any time to actually like clean the wheels because they're just gonna get destroyed again today at autocross but uh, normally when I take my wheels off I'd clean them but the fronts which are now gonna be the backs are pretty destroyed that's all brake dust here look See right there it's supposed to look like that that booty getting lower Ooh. It's a little sideways Another thing you're gonna wanna do is take all your floor mats out. Uh, you have to do this, this is a requirement, so you gotta go ahead and just do this at your house if you want. If not, you can do it at the track. But it's dirty, car dirty right now. I usually like to give it a good cleaning after an autocross weekend because the floor gets pretty nasty just from using just your shoes on carpet. Any other loose items that you might have in your car, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove those. All right, so cleaning your car is a must, as you know, so I like to get it nice and shiny with some uh, Eco Smart chemical guys. Eco Smart, this stuff's awesome. Um, so I'm gonna just wipe down the car real quick. One quick tip, sidewalls, do not, do not lube those things up with any of that nice tire shine stuff. If you wanna wipe them off with a rag and just kinda of clean them off, that's cool. But uh, do not put that tire shine on it cause it's gonna make you slip and slide. And it's kinda of fun, but it's gonna make your time suffer. So don't do that. I like to load up my little like Subaru bag that I can put in the back of my car. So I usually put in like a little crap tool kit um, just to have a torque wrench, a breaker bar. I got that little Ryobi temp probe that I can check my tire get and all that stuff check my intercooler temps Whatever you want to check very important that uh, tire pressure gauge tire pump Some engine oil pretty much it for that and then I load this thing up with a whole bunch of other Camera accessories and whatnot. I put sunscreen water all that stuff. So make sure to get that I also like to throw my numbers in there. These have been used and abused, but that's okay They still work a roll of tape to adhese more tape onto those numbers. Man, those things are getting thick. Quick check of your power steering fluid. Check the color, make sure it's not super brown, should be pretty red. Check your coolant, check your engine oil, and also you can check your transmission fluid, brake fluid reservoir. Make sure that's all full and nice and clean. I also have my water jug filled with fresh water. I usually like to put this one behind the seat as uh, I don't want it to like fall over or anything like that. Have all my audio equipment chilling back here, pretty ugly. On my way to go meet up with my little caravan, a couple of my buddies, uh, Derek, who you saw in the bug eye video, the guy we cut the hole in the roof. We got Brandon uh, with his RS. That's the new Ford Focus RS. I think it's badass. Hopefully we get to drive that later today. And then Rob in his little wagon. Oh, that thing's on E85 and it's pretty done up. It's pretty cool. I need gas. I'm all out of gas. So luckily we're gonna go meet up. I'm gonna go get some gas in a minute here. Fill her on up, 91 poop octane, California crap.
so we are sitting in traffic right now because I guess a lane is closed, which is annoying on a Saturday morning, but whatever. So we got to merge into traffic and uh, keep on going. Brandon and the RS up here making some cool pops. Right, guys so we're going out there we're gonna do our first autocross run right now just walk the course it, was, uh, it looks like a pretty fun course it's very open a lot of big long left-hand turns so it should be pretty fun uh, it's really hot out it's 100 degrees out my intake temps are 156 degrees car is not gonna be fast I have the AC on right now I gotta turn it off when I get up to the line uh, I'm curious to see how Brandon's RS does that's kind of gonna be my competition today um that's stage one uh that has the cob access port on it and a tune by travis at snail performance so his car is actually quicker than mine uh just with that stage one and it's putting down some really good numbers hopefully we get to drive this later maybe not but a review is coming on that car for sure someday so we'll be coming up soon so can't wait to get out there That was bad. Nice, thank you, sir. There's some sliding action. 50.588. Not bad. I guess I gotta pick the right lane. Is that Lanny in the car? And uh, that was pretty fun. Yeah. That was pretty good. Nope, that's not me. I liked Burn, it. Burn. These tires are pretty damn awesome. They. Uh, I like the way they progressively slip. The brakes felt really, really good. Super bitey. I was not using the brakes probably as much as I could have. Definitely letting the car rotate and do its thing. So it's pretty fun. Okay guys, so that first run was really fun. Actually, the car did a lot better than I thought. The brakes felt really good. Um, the back definitely wanted to rotate really well. I really like the way the RS3 tires are working. This tread compound and the, the size seem to have a lot more grip. Um, that first initial corner, for whatever reason, I forgot to take off traction control, but I hit it after the, uh, the first initial turn. I don't think it was a big deal. It just kicked in, but I said, hey, where'd my power go? And then I hit the button, so whatever. Um, but yeah, the brakes felt really good. They're really, really bitey. Uh, they bit in really hard, and I'm liking the way they feel, so that is good. And then we're going to do our second run here in a sec. Aggressively rotating. Very nice. It's very fun. I don't know if it's fast, but it feels good. It feels very nice. I guess it was slower, but whatevs. Thank you, sir. 
Okay, so it was a bit slower, but my car, oh, oh, oh. I had the air conditioning on, bad idea, but it did feel really nice out there, so whatever. Uh, I like the AC, it was very nice, it was very nice. So that was the second run, 51 point, uh, the 51.169 my first one was in 50.588 so a bit slower but got had a lot of fun that car was just rotating everywhere that was very fun very very fun okay guys so literally uh we haven't even had time to barely stop like i just quickly uh sprayed off the tires to kind of cool them down a bit that last run was super fun i'm sure you saw it we were like i was sliding the car all around it was doing what I wanted it to do. The intake temps are super, super hot right now. Um, so the car is not that fast, but it's pulling a bunch of timing and not making as much power. But the tire setup, God, the RS3s, I'm really, really liking them. Like the RE11s that I had on here before, uh, they're just different. They would like grab to a point and then they would just kind of understeer. These like to uh, let the back brake loose, which is really nice. These are 265, 35 R18, so it's a lot of meat and uh, they get hot and sticky pretty quick. So um, yeah, let's do another run. Let's turn the AC off this time. Have a little bit more power, we'll be good. All right, third run. that one a bit you can hear my strut making some noise i guess i'll slow down a bit here maybe try to be a bit cleaner come on out slow down here a bit harder i can hear my strut making noise my front left is kind of blowed out so likes to click likes to clunk slow down a bit right here Tree, tree, tree. Uh, slower again. Intake temps are still rising. I'm pushing the car a bit too hard. Maybe this last time, I don't know. Maybe I'll just drive it like mellow. I don't even know. That's never fun. Who wants to do that? No one wants to do that. I feel like my first time was pretty good. So. Yeah. All right, guys. So that last run was really, really fun too. Um, slid it around after the first initial slide in that one corner. I started to kind of tone it down a bit, I guess. And then I kind of, I don't know, I slowed it up a little bit. So it was kind of fun. Uh, actually, it was really fun. I like sliding sideways better than I like gripping for whatever reason, just because it's fun. But uh, this time, we'll see. I'm going to try to put down a, um, a less sliding run, I guess you would say. Try to use the brakes a bit more. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Fourth and final run. We're gonna, we're gonna get some grip. Slow it down a bit just to try it out. Let's see if we can get a little bit quicker of a run out of this thing. Uh, I probably slowed up way too much right there. I was way too slow, but that's okay. That's okay. good I don't know car might have been pulling a lot of timing the last one I screwed up by slowing down way too much on that one spot I could have took it quicker through there that's all right had fun 
and uh, overall, awesome day at the autocross. All right, guys, so that concludes today's autocross. Uh, there weren't any fun runs because the day went a little longer than I thought it was. Uh, it's five o'clock right now, so it just got over. Um, the runs went a little bit longer due to some stuff, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead and give it a like. Um, subscribe if you guys have not subscribed. I know there's a lot of guys out there that have not subscribed to watch my videos, so please do so. There'll be more to come. I post on Mondays and Fridays every week, so two videos a week, and we will talk to you guys soon. Later, guys. Wrench on.